Hollow Smoke by Don Van Vliet, a.k.a. Captain Beefheart. Hollow Smoke, the whole transmitting, her hair come out like red meat through a screen door. Wiped her shoulder, balanced like a ball. Her face was erect on a long, thin neck. Like rubber mountains in the distance stretched under wind-blown spider webs. The wind puffed out, drank the blue sky. One milk cloud grazed the sun, sailed into black bag, hung to strapped around. The girl bowed and rested against her cocked hip. A row of buttons ran up her like raisins. Crisp colors, folds made shadows under her loose breasts. Feet orange rakes wiggled sand. The sea moved, returned, claimed one lace paper plate. Like a frayed damp fish, it spun and sank in a foaming circle. A sandwich corner flies in a gull's beak. She smiles, her fingers skim into green beads, drip roll and line off her greased palm. Clear salt diamonds sparkle on her nose, black horn shadows her cheeks, turn pink red bulb darts into speech, and rests between glazed white. In a moment I say the day caught me full, hot open eyes swam blood grabs, cloth grated roughly damp where I sit. Black hair, fur, and wings, rancid rainbows. Hummed the half-eaten dead fish, silver and pink brine. Bubbled from the torn-off fin, I searched for a stick. Poked the bloated bulb, one scale broke loose like a husk. Shaped like a fingernail, blew away like paper. Over my shoulder, the sand made the highway crawl. Black and wavy, my car looked important. A fat person moved noisily by with two small children. On either hip disappeared down the beach as decorated genitals under an umbrella. Rocks stuck my buttered body. I caught one under my nail and flicked it with my thumb. Pina said, you look like a sugared strawberry. We better get going before it gets cold and it makes us too hot. Pina danced like a wounded stork, her held her foot up screaming. I've been bitten by something. I consoled her, you have been attacked by a coat cap. Its angry teeth prints fading. Pina exclaimed, that's the raspberries. Oh, banana like a limp star drooped from a free hand. This situation pleased the old man. His face smiled, leather laughter. The thermos opened. The inside of the car tasted like the caramel you walked by. This is cold. This is too somebody. We'll see if we do something about it. It's too day. You wanted to? It was your idea. It's damp and cold and noisy at night, though. Cops might arrest us. Who cares how we go together but Jesus? Pina, your legs are pretty as a crab the way they open. Are they like pincers, said Pina innocently. Whales never come out of water, do they? Pina tongued. If that had happened, it would be a sticky situation. Listen to the ocean. I can't. All those little ears, ha <laughs> ha, puh Pina exclaimed, that's the raspberries. What more could you want than to be brought up? The old fart's heart beat like a drum. His mouth was dry and there was an angry welt throbbing from where he'd been poked earlier that day while posing as a dead fish. One fly crawled through the nostrils in his intricate trout replica mask and had somehow got fouled up in his intricate air bulb atomizer breathing device and it whistled and stank and tickled with every breath. One leg had been torn off where the tube went in his mouth. He could feel it hanging from his lip and the thought of it almost made him vomit. 
He was numb from the neck down and was too exhausted at this point to dig himself out of the sand. His whole scheme had been foiled by the fog that gathered on the inside of the detailed view holes that even upon close inspection appeared to be high.